Well, the polar vortex is one of the latest buzzwords. It's often used to talk about the upcoming cold temperatures. I did not hear of it as a kid growing up, did you? No, never. Well, so, from Texas. So. Yeah, well, this is true. <laughs> so what is it exactly? CBS 17 meteorologist Lance Walker is digging deeper. Yeah, it's that time of year again. Of course, it's winter and it's about to get cold again. So everybody wants to talk about the polar vortex. It is going to impact our region. So let's talk about what it is first. We'll start with the boring stuff. There it is. That's the definition. It's a strong wind field in the stratosphere. That's the upper part of the atmosphere that circulates the Arctic every winter, really all year long. It's a naturally occurring phenomenon, but it's stronger during the winter and it helps keep the cold air locked in place up there. This is the way it looks as you look vertically through the atmosphere. The cold air is locked in place. That's the polar vortex. It's actually about seven miles above the surface of the Earth. Wind speeds in this area 100 to 200 miles per hour. That strong wind locks that cold air to the poles, keeps it away from our area. But sometimes that changes. You can see here, this is a healthy polar vortex, keeping that cold air up to the north along the poles. But occasionally we get some disruptions in that. That's what we expect over the next two weeks. That's actually in Russia. When that warming event occurs, that slows down the polar vortex. Wind speeds go from 200 miles per hour to just 50 miles per hour. So it weakens the effect on the cold air that allows that cold air to seep southward, bringing frigid temperatures into our region over the weeks ahead. So what does that mean for us? Well, like I said, cold air pushes southward into the eastern U.S., including us here in central North Carolina. High temperatures only topping out in the 30s and 40s at times. We expect this to be a prolonged event, really likely through the end of January. We could see it flip though as that polar vortex re-strengthens we could attention we could potentially see a warmer than average february ahead so the big question is always are we going to see winter weather it's possible if we're going to see winter weather in our area this is the type of setup of course we'll keep you advised on that as we move through the weeks ahead for cbs 17 news i'm meteorologist lance blocker